everyone, this is Marty with Pezzadoodle Designs, and I want to show you a fun couple of products, a fun little technique using Dreamweaver. Dreamweaver makes some really nice embossing paste. They have several different colors and different finishes. We have several of them here. They also make these really, really beautiful mica powders that can be used in conjunction with the paste for some really neat, very pretty effects. And they have these great brass stencils as well. So we will be using all of these today to make some really cool things. Something you want to have on hand for this technique is some removable tape. This is by Scotch. Comes in a roll. I just cut it off as I need it. Tape dispenser. Even better. And I have this little plastic palette knife. Nothing special. Came in a little mixed bag. I got it at Michael's. I use these for lots of different things. Great to have on hand. I'm working on a nonstick craft sheet. Susanna has these in stock. If you don't have one of these, I highly recommend them. They make life so much easier. Okay, we're going to start with some translucent embossing paste and a few mica powders. I have red, turquoise, and bronze here. Their names are Kimono Red, Eye of the Tiger, and Glacier. And we're going to do these lanterns, these little Chinese lanterns. One thing you want to do, found out this the hard way, have your paper larger than your stencil so that you can tape it down really well. Just works better. Makes life easier. So we're going to take some pieces of our tape. Like I said, I just cut them off. If you have a tape dispenser, that'd be even better. I probably have one somewhere buried in my stuff. So we're going to tape all four edges. You want to make sure that these stencils don't move. And you want to make sure that you have them down flat on all four sides. So we'll just stick him on real well. And then what we're going to do is we're going to mix up our own paste colors with the translucent and the mica powders. It's a really fun way to create whatever colors you want, as well as give the paste some extra zing to it. It's very glossy and very pretty all on its own. This is just a fun way to add a little something extra. So again we have our translucent paste, our three mica powders we want to work with. I'm going to mix them right on my craft sheet. It's the great thing about it. And then once you're done just wipe it with a paper towel. If there's any extra that's dried on there, not a big deal. Scrape it off. I use a little acrylic ruler that I have from sewing, actually. It has a nice edge to it that'll scrape anything off of a craft mat. Now you're going to want to have paper towels and water handy when you do this. I want to wipe all of the paste off of my little palette knife before sticking it into the mica powders. And I'm just going to dip in. There's not a lot of real measurement going on here. Then you just kind of smoosh them around. Palette knives are great for mixing. So you'll just mix that in really well until all of the paste 
has combined with the powder. Scoop it back into a little pile here. All right. Now we have our stencil secure on our paper. So we're just going to take some paste and start smoothing it over our stencil. And I'm doing this sort of random, the colors, because I think that looks really nice. Obviously, you can do it all one color. Now, as you're smoothing this on, you don't want to push real hard because if you do, you're going to be pushing it underneath your stencil. So you want to get it into the spaces, but don't smash it in there and rub it around too much. Add a little bit of glacier. I think I find the less you play with it, to the better. The less of a chance you have of getting it smushed under the stencil. Make sure I get those little lines at the top here. And now I'm just going to smooth it a bit. Again, not a lot of pressure. Just to smooth out our design. Now you want to take your stencil off while it's wet. If you let it dry like this, not only are you going to pull all your embossing paste off when you pull up your stencil, but you're going to have a really hard time cleaning it too. As you hold this down, be careful you'll get it on your fingers and then touch your paper and you'll see an example of that in a minute. Again, trying not to move the stencil as we do this. Hold your paper down, lift, and there's your beautifully embossed design. Now, when it's wet, this translucent embossing paste has a bit of a cloudy sort of milky look, but then once it's dry, you get a very nice effect. This is another one I did earlier. So you can see the mica powder really stands out for the shimmery effect. Now you want to wash your stencils right away. Don't let this dry on here. Um, if you're doing several projects at once, just keep a bucket of water nearby, drop the stencils into the water, a Tupperware bucket or something, and then you can clean them all later all at once. All right, on to the next little technique I'm going to show you.